Yo, this is it on the play Super Mario Party, and this is the season finale. So now this is gonna be the last episode we do of Super Mario Party, and I'm be playing as Wario again, like we did in the previous map. And here we have all the brothers in uniform. We have Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi, and I'll be playing as Wario this time. I'll explain why I'll play Wario because there's a special reason I want to play as Wario, and I'll tell you that later on. But the last thing we're going to explore in this Let's Play is the Challenge Road, which you can find here. Challenge Road. Complete a series of special challenges based on 80 minigames. So this is basically you have to complete minigames while doing something special by winning it. You can't just win it, you have to do something else to win it. Like you have to beat it at a certain speed, collect as many points as you can, or do something special in the minigame to win. So let's do it. I already played the mini game already a few worlds, so now I can head to the end of the road. This is the final stage. The challenge won't be easy, so give it your all. Yeah, so when you start this thing the first time, you'll start up here at the Shell Street. When you clear, clear 10 of the mini games, you'll go on to the next one called Chestnut Forest. When you clear this one, you'll unlock Diddy Kong, which is very important. Next, you have Mushroom Beach, 30 mini games. Ghosty Hollow has 50 mini games. Salty Sea has 40 mini games. And when you beat this one, you'll unlock Pom Pom. And then we have End of the Road with 17 minigames. I won't play them all. We're going to play as many as we can to about 20 minutes. And then we'll call it. Because this is basically what this is. I'm just not going to show you what happens when you unlock it. just going to show you this whole thing. Just to show you what this how this works. So let's go with End of the Road. You made it to the final stage. What awaits you at the end of the road? You have to see it for yourself. Wario. Let's check it out. So now we have to basically clear mini game. Turn here to see. Cruising for a bruise. You have to outrun the bruises for 40 seconds. So basically you have to clear. You don't it doesn't matter if you win or lose, you just have to do it for for 40 seconds and you win. If you are taken out before that, then you're gone. Now here though there won't be any explanations of the rules unless you push the uh, Y button. Press the A button to, or X button to start, and the A button to view the map of the whole place. So we have played A button there, you can see the map of this place. Wouldn't really matter for us though. Alright, so let's go cruising for a bruising. I'll turn the bruising for 40 seconds. That should be doable. It's all a bit about luck. Let's try it though. So again, it's all about surviving for 40 seconds. If we do that, we win. If we don't, we lose. Okay, we got a good start one now. We got on the top one. I'm gonna actually keep going on the top one. This is a bad choice. Bad choice, bad choice. Let's go bottom now. We are the only one bottom. And that's a good choice for us. We're halfway through now. If only last for 10 more seconds. Bottom was a bad choice, but there's nothing to do about it. Uh oh, let's try to go up. That was a bad choice, but I think we're doing fine so far. Let's try to go up again. Five, four, three, two, one. And time's up. We win. We survive. And that means we have cleared the game. To clear it, we get some uh, party points, which you can use to spend for some unlockable stuff like music and stickers. Nothing really game breaking. Next up can take pancakes. Score at least 10 points. So you can see it's just about winning, or uh, I think you have to get a certain amount of points. So here we have to get at least 10 points. Start. Here we have to get 10 points, so just basically get all the pancakes you can. This one is very simple. Remember to take the middle ones. And I got 11 points. So that's enough. Try to go for the star ones, because they have more 3 points. So 11 points, that's enough to win. We got Claire. We can go on to the next stage. Here we have to play Wiped Out. Score at least 100 points. This is the uh, the uh, rhythm mini game where we have to um, rhythm with the cleaning. Here they get at least 100 points. If you do that, you win. Doesn't matter how everyone else does. You just need to have 100 points. That's it. Here's again rhythm. Here we go.
So far, so good. This is pretty funny. I think we're doing pretty well. Yeah, this is pretty really simple. We got 130 points. That's 30 more than we need. So everyone else in this area got over 100 points. So that's pretty good. It's pretty simple. Not really hard. So we got 130 points. More than enough than we need to clear. And that's pretty good. So, so far, so good. Now for the next stage. Lit Potato. Beat the rival teams. This one is a bit of an RNG. But then again, a lot of the games here are RNG. But not too much RNG. Beat the rival teams. This is basically all about trying to carry this thing and not being the one that blows it. Here we go. So basically, this is all about not having the bomb. Ah, damn it. We always lost. Because I got blown up. So this is bad. Again, this is a bit about the RNG. Do you want to try to challenge again? Of course. The good thing here is that you can do, can, can repeat these mini games as much as you want. There's no continue, there's no life, there's no game over here. Start. You basically do this until you win. Trick here is either to send it off right away, or you can try to save it and not toss it away before it explodes. This one is pretty decent actually. But it's not over yet. Oh, no, there's fewer. And a few bombs as well. Oh, that was pretty lucky. <laughs> now we're three less. Now we are only four. Round three is two bombs. So two will go out. Oh, yeah, we got it. Right. Now comes the question. Can we beat Dry Bones? Ah, yeah, we did it! <laughs> oh, that was close! I thought that was too too late, but no, it did went a bit longer, and we beat him. Okay, that was a bit RNG, but you also can do is on timing. So luckily, we got it this time. Phew, I hate these kind of minigames. Now I start making this far, I want to take a break or keep going. That means basically, if you take a break, you basically you can say you can save here. Doesn't really matter though. Let's keep going. Anyways. You're unstoppable. Thank you very much. Next minigame, here, uh, this one. Sign still deliver. Beat the rival team. Sure. This one's a bit tough though. Because here we have to do this delivery. There are three and we are one, but we have the uh, drone. If you play the drone well, you should win easily. The drone is not easy to control though, so be careful. Because you can't snatch the opponent like this, and you can take away from them. Probably should actually do that. Remember that everyone can carry multiple ones. Yeah. It's basically more about drone control, but you should try to take from the opponents as well. Yeah. There well, I got one from the mountain world, but I'm in the lead, but it's very, it's very even. I can only carry one. This is a bit about how quick you are. You probably should also try to look where the others are, because... Uh, the further away they are, you can easily try to snatch some of the packages from them. So, so far we're doing pretty good, but now the Mountain Mill comes with two. That's gonna even up the score and... and oh, five. Ah, oh, they actually beat... Ah, damn it, they beat us. Or beat me, actually. Not us. I'm. It's me versus them. So they, they were playing pretty well. Well, that's fine. Just try it again. It's basically what this uh, whole challenge world is about. It's about doing special things. Either you have to win, like this one, or you just have to do it like the amount of points. Do it quicker, longer, try not to try to dodge some obstacles. This was pretty good now, because now they run up there, and now they have lost the opportunity to get this item. This is doing pretty well. Okay, I can't stop that one. Go up here, and I can take away this box here from uh, 
this one is much better. Try just to collect the boxes that you can get closest, but also collect the boxes that prevent them from collecting boxes as well. So now they only have six. Okay, now they have five, but yeah. I mean, you can try to speed up as far as you can, but remember that I can collect, collect multiple boxes. Try to see where they are, and then try to snatch it away from them. But don't don't spend too much on snatching them in case you can't take it quick enough, because that'll just screw you around. Like this one, for example, I could take the Yoshi because it was time in the man. But you can see they're only catching up. I got a one from Boo, but they will actually win this one. Yeah, they. Wow, there was even worse. I had a good lead, but yeah. Uh, not much I can do about it. Do again next time, Wario. Yes, try again. Of course. Let's go beat the rival team. We have to win this one. It's a bit harder with CPU, because CPU is generally more... Uh, you know, then the more easy to find out where they want to go, and they're quicker in movement. Then others just stand still and try to think instead of moving, so... That can be, of course, a bit of a problem. Now I took one from Boo, that's good. That course didn't work, I tried to took them where they were down there, that doesn't really work. Go to the top now. Should try to collect these ones that are at the bottom, because that's one that's really harder for them to catch, catch with. Can take that one to boot. That will probably be a good thing for them. Can take that one either. Okay, they are in the lead now. They have 11 and I have 10. Yeah, they're gonna win this one as well. Oh, if I only got that last one! If only! If only! Damn it! So close. But tie doesn't help. You need to win. If you fail three times, then uh, the magic will come here. You think you're struggling. You can skip the challenge and move on. If you do though, you can just basically try all the mini games and uh, and try to collect. But again, I don't think you you need can skip them all. You need to beat them all in order to to basically win the thing. We can try though. We can skip. Then we can move to the next one, but it's still be red though, so I think you still need to come back and do it later if you don't manage to do it. Sizzling steaks. Cook every surface within 25 seconds without losing the cube. So this one, you have to cook the whole thing in 25 seconds. And you can't lose it. If you lose it, you lose. You only have one shot. There we go. Doesn't matter what the other one does. The only thing you have to consider about is yourself. In order to win this best, it's the sound of rumble. One side left, if I can get it. I got it. I was a bit lucky. So it's basically a field of rumble. When it rumbles, it cooks. When the rumble stops, you have finished cooking the side and you can switch it. That's basically how we beat this game pretty simply. Alright, we got a thousand points now for 30 points. We can move to the next challenge. This one is called Timing is Money. Take these 15 coins without blowing up. Okay. Mm this one can be a bit tough. We will try. Oh, I lost. Damn it. This is basically... Uh, yeah, it can be a bit tough. This minigame is all about collecting coins. Doesn't really matter what everyone else does, or you win or lose. Doesn't matter. You need to collect 15 coins without blowing up once. You do the timing. That's the best one. In my opinion, when you see the bomb bomb, that's when you do the thing. Oh, of course, I was just too late. Damn it, I was trying to get the many coins. If you do that, you will score big, but again, you'll be close to the bomb as well. So I was a bit too unlucky. All right, let's try again. Fifteen coins still without blowing up. Start. <laughs> what? The first was a bomb. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, this isn't really looking good. Uh, Magic Koopa, can we skip, please? <laughs> I hate this skipping, but we already cleared this part for a reason, so 
can skip. Uh, let's skip. Good might think, but I still think you need to clear, so we're just doing this uh, for one, just for now. All right, here comes Mario. Mario will help you with this challenge. Half the battle. Win out, win without touching an amp. All right, so this one we have to do a tag team. We have to win. Doesn't really matter if we just uh, don't touch it. We have to win as well, and don't touch the amp. The amp is the electric, th electric thing there. If you touch it, you lose. The other ones can touch it, but you cannot. There's some allies with us, so we're pretty good. Remember, no touching. Just look for the opportunity. They're actually winning this one, so they're in the lead. They have five. We have five, but now they're gonna get a lot more. They're pretty smart though, they're actually letting allies get as well. And we're losing this one. We've got two, but they're still a little ahead of us. This one is probably best if you collect as many as you can at the same time. You get a lot more points. Remember, you are not allowed to touch the amp. The others are. You are not. Come on, Mario. Hey, get Mario, get here. Finish. No! Damn it! Why did you collect that? Come on, you only need one. Yeah, the CPU can be a bit annoying. That happened right there. We would have won that if Mario just didn't care about the third one, come to us and score. Instead, we didn't get a single point. And that would have won us. Because we were drawn, we would have won. Let's get these two. Ready? This one's gonna be on the bottom. So we'll get those two, not much you can do. Let's set let, let's set the point. Yeah, we got it. Oh, they only had one. Come on. Take the top one so we can take the bottom one as well. Come here. That's three points for us. Like this one and the one on the top. They go ahead, that's fine. Mario, up here. Great. Okay, good lead. Take these two. Let's collect. They have three, that's fine. You have two. Remember, don't touch the amps. Or else we will be losing automatically. No! How did we... What? We weren't even close to that one. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, we'll try one more time. Ugh, that was a bit annoying. I mean, we're not sure we weren't even close to it. Let's just get this too quickly. Get this one and this one. Let's collect. Mario! There we go. Let's just collect these two. Get that Mario, get that other one! There we go, thank you. We should go with this to take this one and this one. We got three. We only need to collect one more. And let's wait for Mario. Ma! Oh come on, Mario! You don't have a single one! There we go. Oh wow, oh wow, oh, oh, whoa. This is bad. Come here. Let's just exchange this one quickly. I need to collect some more as well. Let's get this too. Come here. No! <laughs> Damn it, Mario! <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, Mario, you are pathetic. If it weren't for you, Mario, you would have won! Of course you'd lose. You put on that uh, the amp all the time. See, sometimes you can do best, but your, uh, your partner is screwing you up. Let's skip and do one more mini game for this episode before we end this whole let's play. Let's skip. I'm doing quite well. Person time to take a break. Keep going. Well, this head is tough. Stay focused. Yeah, for sure. Gonna do this last mini game, guys. See if we can beat it. Here we have. We have some partners with us. Suit yourself. Finish with no more than one miss. So basically, here we have to pick the cards, and we have to get not a single miss. This is the uh, team game we can play as well from uh, the uh, River Survival. So here, 
he will show us four cards, and then it will be flipping him around. You have to find out where the cards are. Okay, so I will be taking the one that is on the middle, on the left. It didn't move, so it's still there. Let's go for it. And with this one. The other thing though, the CPU always take the right card, which is really nice. So that's one. That's the clover. That's the gloves. Next up, we have the hearts. I'll take the middle one at the bottom. It didn't move. We can take it still. This one. And we got correct. Great. We got the gloves. We got the hearts. Now we have the spades and diamonds left. It's gonna be spades. Now I'll take the spade that is basically uh, the furthest south. But this is d dangerous because now he'll switch and he'll turn around. So I know exactly where the one it is I want to take. It's this one. Great! That's the spades! Okay, so now we only have the diamonds left. We got the clubs, we got the hearts, we got the spades, now it's only the diamonds. Alright, so I'll take the diamond that is basically the bottom right, because it will be changing to our direction. It's right in front of us. This one. Luckily we've always picked the same card, which is correct, so there we go, we got the diamonds. The remaining two cards are fake, and they will not be picked, and we win! Remember, you're allowed two misses, or three, two misses, um, but here we haven't got a single one. We clear it, and that's it. We can continue for the next mini game, but I won't be doing it because we're running out of time. Time to shine. This is basically the rhythm mini game with uh, Waluigi. This is where if you have to do rhythm, you have to do 35 points to do it. Um, I actually can do this mini game while I'm talking about both you guys because this will be the end of this Let's Play of Super Mario Party. Now maybe comes the question: What will I do next? So. I kind of tell myself I will not do another Mario part, not do another Mario game because it would be a blame to do the same thing over and over again. But uh, I will actually do it, and that's why I have Wario as my character because Wario will be the character we're gonna play, and that's because we're gonna go from a new console in the Nintendo Switch, we're gonna play a old console. And which one is that? You think? It's very simple. We're gonna play the Game Boy! We're gonna play Wario Land, aka Super Mario Land 3. Which is gonna be the game where that's what we'll be playing next. I decided I want to, to have some good memories with that game, so that's what we're gonna play. There we go, we got 40 points, we cleared this mini game. So yeah. Um, next episode for the first uh, next let's play we're gonna do, which is gonna be Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3 will be coming about in two weeks' time. So stay tuned, Fat guys. We're gonna play through the game, and we're going to basically um, get all the treasures. There are 15 treasures throughout the maps. We're gonna play all the levels. Every single level will be played. We're getting all the treasures so we can get the best ending in the game. Uh, aside from that, I won't be doing anything all more fancy. We're just going to collect all the treasures. We're going to clear all the levels. And we're going to beat all the bosses, including the final boss, and get the best ending, because that's what you will automatically get when you have all the 15 treasures. So, from Nintendo Switch to the Nintendo Game Boy. That's quite a difference. But then again, from the new to the old again. And uh, don't worry, guys. If you want to see some more RPG action, uh, since I've kind of been doing like a non-RPG and RPG, after we've done Wario Land Super Mario Land 3, we will do an RPG of a very famous game. Which one it is, you will have to stay tuned until that comes. But uh, I think you will like it. I did like it at least a lot. I think it's a red underrated game, and it's very fun to play. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on uh, Twitter, Twitch, and uh, that's going to be it for now. So... Uh, I'll see you guys next time, and uh, thank you guys for watching my Super Mario Party Let's Play. And I'll see you guys soon for Let's Play Super Mario Land 3 Wario Land on the Game Boy. Thank you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy! <laughs>